Hey guys, it's Denise, and we are in the Raider Settlement at um, Red Rocket Nuke World, the Raider Settlement that I have been doing, uh, making, and we are in the um, shopping mall, and I thought we would do some uh, junk decorating in here for the clothing store. This may or may not stay, but... Um, I wanted to go ahead and, uh, you know, show you guys how I junk decorate. And first of all, these are my favorite shelves because they're big, they're spacious, you have a lot of room, wiggle room. And when I junk decorate, I only drop a few items at a time so I don't get overwhelmed. Um, I also make sure I have plenty of room to walk and maneuver around. Uh, like these, I'm not going to rotate them. I'm just going to come over here and grab them like this. And, uh, you know, start putting them on the shelves. Um, I don't know how well these stack. Um, but if you're going to junk decorate, um, I would make sure that you drop only a few items at a time. And make sure you have plenty of work room. Like in my workshop that I showed you guys, that was a very cramped space to junk decorate in. And that really made things harder because I couldn't go as fast as I wanted to when I was decorating. So I have not tried to stack these new types of uh, Nuka Roll clothes. So we're going to see how this works out. Um, and see what we can fit on here and see how well they stack. It looks like these jacket and jeans are stacking pretty well so far. Um, let's see if I've got it. I've got it rotating the correct way and so um, that's that's it going so far hopefully we don't have any issues here <clears throat> we'll see if these are smaller if they can fit in that one area right there so dropped four just come over here and grab them this is the front of it and these are going to be probably too long to go in there. So we don't want to mess up what we've already done. So we'll just start going from this side. Oh, goodness. That is a stolen item. I did not know that. Um, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to store that in the workshop. Because if you pick it up... Um, it's supposed to make settlers mad. Um, I have never experienced it before and I don't want to, especially when I'm trying to do a video. So, yeah. Okay, so. <clears throat> got it going on there. Um, we're going to see. Um, can't go too, too long. You know, it can only go 30 minutes. But we'll see how far we can get. Um, I cleared out the workshop. So we should have a little bit more, um, you know, um, room to junk decorate in here now. Hopefully it um, won't act up on us or freeze up on us or anything weird. Uh, once you start ju junk decorating quite a bit, you'll find that it starts going a lot faster. Um, and this is just how I... I decorate you guys can decorate however you want to um, uh, my friend Fatima just did a great <clears throat> excuse me junk decorating video on her channel I will leave a link to that so you guys can check it out um, she's a kind of uh, a junk decorator where she just kind of throws everything wherever the heck she wants it which is totally fine I mean you can totally decorate that way if you want it and I think she was also making a junk store so she just wanted all kinds of junk just thrown everywhere and that's fine I mean um, it's all about what you want your settlement to you know look like <clears throat> if you want to do um, junk decoration that's a little more challenging then putting everything on the shelf straight and trying to keep them that way it's probably going to be a little bit more challenging as opposed to just throwing stuff everywhere. But 
I mean, it's still an effective way because it makes your um, settlement look more um, lived in, you know? So any kind of junk decoration to me is is great because it just helps the, the realism of it. Um, now, also, um, no matter how you junk decorate, <clears throat> there's always a fear and rightly so that all your hard work is just going to go right down the drain which is always a possibility there's so many reasons why something like this ooh, it's so nice and straight could get messed up it could be one of your animals coming in here um, a yagwai, a death claw, one of the dogs, it could be dog meat, it could be a follower of yours, it could be freaking Nick Valentine. <clears throat> it could be the lady that runs this shop that she decided to spawn right here as opposed, you know, to a more normal place. And she just knocks everything off when she's trying to get unstuck out of the graphics. Or it could just be nobody interferes with it at all and you just fast travel back in and it doesn't register for whatever reason and everything just either falls to the floor flies outside on the ground flies up in the air or just completely disappears altogether so I definitely understand um, the frustration behind it all it's happened to all of us who junk decorate and sometimes it happens a lot more than it does other times. Some settlements are more prone to it happening than others. Like Accentuary Hills, for me, that has been a really good settlement for junk decoration. I have not had hardly any problems there. Like, if anything gets messed up, it's like one or two items and that's it. And, you know, fixing up one or two items that got messed up is a lot more tolerable than having to redecorate like this entire shelf <laughs> you know so I mean it just it's a risk that you're gonna have to take and you know some people would say well just get a mod and all your problems would be solved and you know um, I'm kind of I'm kind of um, in a way protesting in a way because you know, the, all the PS4 people can't use mods, you know? So, in a way, I kind of feel like I'd be shoving my, shoving their noses in, in the fact that they can't, you know, use them. If I started using them on my channel, you know, I still want to appeal to the people that don't have the ability to use mods, you know? I still want to, I still want to see what I can do before ever entering that territory so um that's one of the other many reasons i have not used mods yet um plus when you use the mods that do the decoration yourself themselves you know you just pick it from the the workshop menu and it automatically puts it on the shelf for you um you don't get to pick the items that gets put on there so you know like all these clothes I'm putting up there you wouldn't be able to do this with the mod because you wouldn't be able to pick and choose what you want on your own shelves you know what I'm saying so I mean um, that's another kind of one reason but the only I would say the only really positive thing out of that would be the fact that um, you know when you stick something down it stays it, it doesn't go anywhere so, like, on a mod, if you put all this stuff on the shelf, you could sit there and jump up against it, throw things at it, and none of that stuff would ever move. You know, which is what should have been done at the very beginning. You know, Bethesda is the one that's going to have to fix that for us. But since Nuka World came, it's the last one. I just don't think anyone's going to put in the time or effort to fix that for us. <clears throat> you know, and I think... Um, you know, if Bethesda really wants to keep their, their game alive, um, they're going to have to, um, you know, offer us a little bit more to keep us going. 
or maybe they don't care maybe they're just going on with new games now and and they're just like you know whatever would leave uh, Fallout 4 up to its own fate or whatever but I would like to see them at least offer us some more um, see that one's not gonna go in there I would at least like to see them offer us more decorating items even if we had to like pay extra for them I would um, I for one would definitely pay um, no more than twenty dollars but I would pay for extra um, items to decorate with um, I would at least like to have that that choice I think it would be nice but um, <clears throat> I don't think they are going to implement any kind of, I don't know what you would call microtransactions or whatnot. I don't think I have any more jackets, so I'll just even those out there. So, but I know that I would, I don't know if anyone else would. Um, it just, you know, more, some people are really into the building, some people are really into the story, and some people are just into both. I do like the story, um, and being able to explore and everything but I do like the fact that you can stop and take a break and build for a while and, and goof off and not have to worry about questing so I, I like like the whole package together but since I know they're not going to do any more story content I'd at least like them to at least offer some more decorating items or, or building stuff to build with would be nice <clears throat> So, um, anyways, just, um, while I'm doing this, I really don't know, um, what to talk about or anything, so I'm just kind of blabbing here. I hope it's not too annoying for you guys. Um, sometimes you can take an item and make it scoot the whole row over. That one will be hanging off a little bit, but I don't, I don't mind it. It's fine. It's not gonna... Um, I mean, yeah, it could fall off. <laughs> I don't think it will, but... So far, these clothes are acting pretty good. They stack really well, and they look nice stacked. Um, some of the... <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies are really kicking up a fuss today. Some of the pre-war clothing is really hard to... to um, uh junk decorate with because they don't stack and they will slide off of each other kind of like you know if you're going down a real slide they just slide right off of each other and it's just really annoying to have to um, like they would never some of the pre-war clothes would never stack like that <clears throat> All right, so we've made quite a bit of progress in about almost 15 minutes. So this is going pretty well, I would say. Uh, seven is a little more than I would usually drop, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyways. And we can leave these spaces in between some of the clothing. I mean, you don't have to fill every part of the shelf. I mean, if you were to go in a, into a store in real life, you know, um, unless they just got done stocking and everything was just per perfect, um, you know, people come in there and buy stuff. There's going to be holes in the in the product, you know, uh, sh shelving, you know, where people have bought bought up a certain item. So. Uh, this is going really good. I would say these are very, very user friendly. I'm not going to. Whoops! See? Me trying to stick that one up there when it was not going to fit was not a good idea but that is a lesson learned only go three high with the jackets 
<clears throat> I think I might stick another one over here, even though it doesn't match the rest of them. I, in fact, I think these are the same. I might go ahead and put these up there. They look the same anyways. I think they're named differently, or one is yellow and one is white. Oh well, it doesn't matter if they're mixed up, I guess. Um, maybe someone came in here and mixed them all up or something. But as you can see, they're going... They're going pretty good, and we're almost running out of clothes anyways. I mean, that's, uh... So this is going really well. And I think we can, uh... Actually get done with this within... The time frame that I put, it, put us on for 30 minutes. Now, I don't want to leave the settlement and go buy more clothes and then come back because I don't want all of this to be possibly messed up when we get back. Uh, but I could do that um, uh, if you wanted to see the whole thing. Like I said, I don't think this is going to be enough to fill the entire shelf, but you know, you can always get more pre-war I could always go run over there and get more pre-war war clothes and we can try to stack some of those up here for some variety um, and these are these are really working well I mean um, they're really working nicely I'm really shocked that I'm not having more issues. Knock on wood. Let's see. <clears throat> We've got 12 more outfits here we can put up there. I'm actually shocked I talked so much while I was decorating because I usually don't talk a lot when I'm decorating or building because I'm in deep concentration usually. this is helpful for you guys um, I wasn't for sure I know um, some of the girls from Wim's stream like Kat and Wim and uh, I think there was someone else wanted me to show how I did my decorating um, I don't know if they meant like the smaller like medicine bottles or what but <clears throat> we do have the Tima Care Hospital at Dalton Farm that we can always go over there and decorate that up too. Uh, I've already decorated part of it. And I think I mentioned that before in one of my other videos. I can't remember. There's some videos I recorded that I said stuff in that I meant to say in ones that actually got put up. Um, but I've been having so many problems lately with recording, I can't even remember what I've said or what actually got put onto the video, <laughs> you know, or which one, which video is going to be good or not. 
Okay, so that is all the clothes I have on me, except for these, um, um, raider type clothes and, um, just gonna put those down there for a little bit of variety. It's starting to get dark. Um, let's see if we can sleep. And then go grab a few more clothing um, from the workshop. Alrighty. Okay, so close this door. Okay, she's in there. It looks like everything is still as it was, which is good. So let's see if we can run up here and get more clothes. And I'll just take it slow, just in case um, something funky tries to happen with lag or whatnot. And sometimes the game will just freeze up when there's no lag or anything weird going on. It'll just you'll just be walking along and it just freezes so it's just one of those things it's sometimes you go in the workshop and the whole thing freezes knock on wood what do we have in here we've got some adam cat jacket and jeans we've got a baseball uniform um oh there's another bottle and cappy there's a casual outfit. I don't really want to put shot of Adam stuff there. Clean striped suit. Um, I don't want to put my western outfits out there because I don't want to lose those because they're the only ones that you have. Fancy plaid suit and tie. I guess I could do that. Furry pants and t-shirt. Oh, here we go. These dresses are quite weird and I'll show you what I mean when I get over there. Mechanic jumpsuits. Those. Okay, I think that should be enough. So let's go and try to fill up the rest of our shelf here. We've got on the timer, it looks like we've got maybe another 10 minutes. So hopefully, um, we will not run into any issues. Now, it's these dresses that are whack. These ones, this comes in, I think, cream color, pink, and blue. And they are weird because they are not user friendly. And let me show you what I mean. Here's the cream version of it. Unless they fixed it somehow, but when you want to stack them they want to do that does that look good to you it does not look good to me it looks stupid so even if you want to like store it back here behind it it won't see it's still flying up in the air so I really, um, yeah, I don't like these dresses. So pick these up because those are not user friendly unless you're just wanting to do one layer of clothing. 
Now, I don't think these dresses are like that, but let me just remind myself here and see if I can remember. So we've got the rose one and the denim one. No, they don't do that. I didn't think they did, but I couldn't remember. And another um, outfit does that too. It's a guy's outfit where if you try to stack them, they'll have that big gaping hole between them. And I forgot which outfit it was. I think it's the, it's the spinners and slacks. One of the black and white outfits. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so got that going on there. Let's see. Greaser jacket and jeans are usually pretty um, user friendly. Let's see if we can... Oh, here's another one that's... Oh, that was the one I stored earlier. Duh. I should just scrap it. That way I don't gotta worry about it. And I had some more greaser jacket and jeans, I thought, didn't I? Pick some up? Oh, Adam Cat. Okay. I think all three Adam Cats will go down there. I'm just gonna go real slow and itch it in there drop it. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. Um, baseball uniform I know is another one that's kind of annoying because they don't stack very well. <clears throat> Just because they're kind of bumpy or lumpy or whatever. Bumpy or lumpy. Uh, we'll just put all kind of different stuff down here I guess. I don't really know. Um, the casual outfit is, I think it's another annoying one. Because it's so lumpy. These are big, they take up a lot of space. So you could just put those down there it'll take up a lot of the space on the bottom oops Getting on almost 30 minutes, guys, so I'm going to have to uh, end it, but um, we have got a lot done. We almost got this entire shelf stocked, so I think we did really good um, for what we did in the amount of time. Again, you can, um, you know, decorate this up any way you want to. You don't have to do, do it the way I'm doing it. There's plenty of ways to decorate different ways these stack pretty well too also each item that you use you'll find some are just more easier to, to decorate with than others okay so um, yeah there we have it. I mean, we could put some more stuff up there. Um, let me see if I have time to real quick. Um, uh, these look like they're probably gonna go oops, like this. They'll hang off the edge a little bit. Oh, I've never stacked these before, so I don't know how they're going to 
Yeah, they're gonna be like those other ones. They're gonna have a gap in between, so we don't like that. Fancy suit and tie. I won't worry about that top shelf. We'll just try to put some more stuff here on the bottom. Maybe stack that on top of there. If you're running out of clothes, just, I guess, mix and match them and stack stuff together that doesn't match. Give a little bit more interesting interest to it. that down there. There we go. All right, so let me know what you guys think. I hope this was helpful to you and um, we could always do more decoration in another video. Uh, I might keep this. I don't know. You know, I was gonna put more, you know, like decorations, mannequins and whatnot over here so that would totally work. I could keep it. So, um, anyways, I hope you all found this helpful and or enjoyable, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.